surprise. Periwinkle in that Mewtwo, that dark Mewtwo. It's the best Mewtwo skin, but honestly, like, to me, that's Periwinkle skin. Like, everybody plays it, but to me, that's Periwinkle skin. He owns it. All right, and already throwing out a Shadow Ball, and then getting the grab, because DDD's coming in close for it. No Gordo's out from Mr. Gordo Ramsey, and I spoke too soon. There's that first one. He's sucking in. Looking for that Shadow Ball charge up. Periwinkle going in hard on that hit. But Gordo hits his first few hits, and he's already starting to rack up that percentage. Looking to spike him. Man, Gordo, Gordo got one moment there. One moment, and he's like, I'm going to show you this spike can land. And he damn near did, too. He got the one afterwards, too. He has already brought this game back to even. Beautiful job. Just that little slide. Oh, my gosh. Reflect. Beautiful. I'm, I'm calling top 10 anime betrayals on that Gordo that got reflected that put him in that situation to begin with. Honestly, you're not wrong. It was a super subtle reflect there. Like, saved him from the up smash and put him into a bad spot. But speaking of a bad spot, we've got a Gordo on ledge situation and that is the up smash I was looking for. That was a beautiful job by Gordo right there. He uh, played the, he knew the reflect was coming, so he was trying to play that uh, Gordo up and down, and then he waited for it. He baited him out with that smash attack. Can we talk about how broken Mewtwo jab is? Like, that was so much damage for a jab right there. Gordo not phased by it at all, already even in a back up, but man. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's a nice one. Like, Mewtwo just racks up damage. He's got a lot of damage potential. Oh my god, going for it in the blast zone. Not quite able to find it, but he got the kill anyways, because... Yeah, Gordo when you're playing that it. DDD, you just don't have that uh, horizontal recovery that you always want. Uh, you can do amazing things popping up from the bottom of the stage with the vertical, but uh, Periwinkle knows that he doesn't have the horizontal. Gordon oh not getting hit God. by that again! He just made that shield disappear. Periwinkle I mean, popping off more Shadow Balls than Gordo is cooking up these Gordos. I'm sorry, I'm still in shock. That shield went from everything to nothing But he survived it, dude. Ooh, okay. Last stock, deep breath, here we go. Gordo at 136, you gotta be sweating a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe you just come in belly first, right back into the stage. This could be oh, it. Oh, that's gonna be it. That was a really good freeze frame, man. He had an anime look right into the camera and everything. Like, that's a solid eight out of ten right there, for sure. Well, I think we saw like three anime betrayals in that Dude. singular match. That that actually was, you know, it's kind of crazy to me that you can have fifteen hundred jumps and like no horizontal recovery, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're not wrong. But oh that's my like, gosh, that's just the day-to-day -day life. I have a lot of jumps, they just don't get me anywhere. <laughs> what if he went up? You too. And also to the side? <laughs> no. <laughs> what if we took all of his upward momentum and we pushed it into his horizontal momentum? Oh, well, no. Dude, there's nothing more heartbreaking either with that. You see DDD go up, and he's got that big grin on his face, and then he just goes down into the blast zone. It's like, Three, two, one. All right, game two, here we are. Different stage, same characters, though. Uh, there was a little bit of uh, time in between when I was wondering, are they just going to switch up? Are either of them going to oh swap? I was Early about... mistake by Periwinkle. That one's going to hurt him. I was about to say that was the best fade out to dodge that Gordo I've ever seen, but then... The teleport angle was just a little bit off. What hit? He was inhaling. I, I don't know. I, oh, it wasn't the shadow ball. Okay, I thought he shadow balled and then it just hit him anyways, even though he was inhaling. But no, that was something else. F smash, maybe? Had to be. Dash maybe, attack, maybe. I don't know. I didn't see any, like, psychic. So, like, I don't, I don't know. Look, I know this game, and if nobody's watching this knows, then they don't know I'm wrong. What? But it's not a kill, it's not a kill. Gordo is still in this, first stalking this man. All right, but hear me out. Diddy's dash attack, he just falls on him like that, right? So theoretically, if he got, you know, say, Disabled. knocked into a coma 
in the middle of that happening, he would still fall and hit you, right? No, no, no. It's like it's like <laughs> the man who he had all my all, all, Alzheimer's and then forgot. So then he remembered everything. You know what? Fair enough. Oh, that was a speaking of fair enough, man. That back air was very nicely spaced. He's just of baiting a shadow here. ball out. Ooh. DDD said center stage is mine and Mewtwo said no. And he's just like, every dash attack Gordo is putting out is getting like beat out, but it's in some other unfortunate way than last time. It's actually Mew getting a little bit... Uh... Mewtwo just winning this aerial game right now. Uh, every oh. time he's hopping out, he's just getting good hits, good neutral airs, uh, good back air, good forward air. It's just... He's winning this neutral. Yeah, I mean, like, so the only thing DDD really has to play with, like, a lot of the time in the air is just that he's got disjoints uh, that are relatively fast. But Periwinkle on Mewtwo just has so much range that he can kind of just outrange that. Yeah, even his little hops, like, like we were saying, they don't give him that much movement. It just disjoints a little bit. And with that much range, yeah, you're right, it's just not doing him any good. Uh, and he's just not popping out that many Gordos. Uh, we've seen that Periwinkle just knows how to play against them, and so... Uh, he's not relying on them as much as he normally does, I feel. Yeah, but like, just like you saw just there, he hits one and he has momentum back. Like, Gordo is the kind of guy that he only has to hit one of those and he's back in control of the match. He just like... We're gonna see it he right can be here. down by so much and just hit a Gordo and he's like, you know, I'm fine though. Everything's gonna be okay. Beautiful job with Periwinkle just shooting out those little quick fastballs. Ooh. <laughs> That's all you need to control. I mean, honestly, if you win the aerial once, win it like that. Win it like that. Yeah, he, he found that that little bit of overextension. And then just hit that back air. That, and that thing just, that's such a, it's such a solid kill move. It's actually decently fast. It's, I believe, safe on shield. It's fairly safe on landing. The only thing you got to work with is that startup. But if you can get around that startup. The other guy overextends on something. But yeah, no, I'm still saying, I'm just saying, I know it's not how video game, I know it's not how a fighting game works. I know it's not how the animations work. But if Day-to-Day's -day's feet are already off the ground and he's mid-belly flop. No, 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 his body is now disabled. And so, like, <laughs> it can't move. It just don't move. It's disabled. He's, he no disabled move. gravity under Day-to-Day, -to -day too. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Day-to-Day -day -day forgot how to fall. You're telling me that... You too can disable the Wait. brain of every single character, but he can't just control gravity for a second. What? What am I looking at? Is that? This is Brawl. Olimar is, is the Olimar? second best character. I did not know that Gordo had an Olimar. Oh my god! But look, he has like he has an Olimar. Look at him go. He's an Olimar, and he's got a purple Pikmin in his pocket. He's looking for this kill now. Dude, I oh man, I can't commentate for Alamar. I gotta like try to pay attention to the pick. That was time. that was what he was going for the, the kill. He had the purple. He had the purple up front. It just didn't come out. He's about to have it again. Oh man, wrong position for it. He's looking for the kill and he's he just is. not getting it. Harry is playing so safe right now too. He's got the blue one out now too. So you also gotta be worried about that grab. Purple's up. I'm like watching Pikmin nope. the whole damn time. That was yellow. We're purple. Yeah, that's so why I can't kill. commentate this, this character. I don't even know what Pikmin is up next, man. I love that we're like Ooh. we're just watching the Pikmin and Periwinkle's like, hey, watch these kill moves. Right, yeah, yeah. He's like, you guys are looking at the commentators looking at the wrong thing, fire them. But you know, sometimes that's just how it is. Like, you, you just come up with like everybody's everybody's all hype for that that new thing and you're just like, hey, I'm still doing this thing the best. Right, that's what Let me Periwinkle's show you the doing classics, right now. The classics. I mean, he's at 130 right now. Oh! Oh my God! We were all watching there. that spiked though. Him. Oh my gosh! Beautiful spike. He just punished that man. Dude, this is looking really good for Gordo, right? Until like he just hasn't been able to find the kill. As I say, it finds the forward smash. Okay, reflected the Pikmin onto Olimar, just beating his head for a minute. That was funny. Yeah, dude, that never gets old. I really want. I really want to see like the surprise come back here to make this like a really close game. I'm so pulling for it. 
that might blue be it. grab range. Beautiful is yellow busted. throw though. He hit that from forever away. Dude, Mewtwo hit him what he wants right now though. So now we go to the uh, the classic Alamar fallback of run away and throw Pikmin until they're at kill percent. Which hey man, I mean like if it works. Can't knock it if it works. Well there he goes. Can he make it back Nair? That was actually a really good option. Gordo, Ooh. I think, can still make it. Got under the spike, too. He's back on stage. And he's living. He's just holding on to this one red Pikmin. I'm, I'm a little now worried about what might it. happen if that Pikmin dies. Oh, he's still got it. He's going to need to pick some new ones soon, but that forward air is going to snuff that idea right out. 2-1, go into Periwinkle. You just said snuff because it was a fire Pikmin. I hate myself. I cannot believe I just did that. This is over.